Kelvin, what's up, man? Hey. It's another week. Mm -hmm. Another week of top decks. And uh, this is the last week of Clan Selection Volume 1. Mm. Uh, volume 2 is coming out tomorrow. Going fast. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. And uh, we've really gone, you know, global now, you know, like in the anime. Global. Global. Uh, yeah, so we've got Japan, we've got, you know, Southeast Asia, we've got Australia. Everyone, mm -hmm. everyone's have lists from there. So if you want to send in your list as well, you can just, I think you can message me. Like, like ping me on like Twitter. That's like the easiest way. Mm -hmm. I think that's what some people have been doing. Or you can probably message me on like Discord or like, uh, somewhere facebook mm. all right just let me know and I'll, I'll put it on so yeah so this week we have we actually have quite a few to go through compared oh, to the last good, few good. weeks it's good to hear right good to hear i think i think clan selection's really gotten people back into the game like oh yeah. a bunch of new stuff we can play with and it's not just gold palette anymore yeah so an orb muta it's not like a tier <laughs> zero deck well there are tier, oh. tier strong decks yes. out there but everyone's having fun and mm -hmm. overdress is just next month as well oh, so man. that's coming quick Right, let's come in quick. So, let's start off with the old Divine Lightning Radiance block, except now with <laughs> added stuff, right? We've got... Well, you mean Gurgit's banned. Well, Gurgit's banned, yeah. <laughs> so, well, not banned. You can't use it with oh, Percival. you can't use it. Yep. So, now you have to pick Percival. Yeah. All right. But, you know, thankfully, Spectral Duke came out. Yep. And uh, we have this. We have this list. Yo, Percival deck is saved. Uh, Percival deck, OTP, man. OTP. <laughs> One true paladin. Um... I mean, we, we've seen these decks pop up last week, mm. but now we have a lot more lists showing up. And uh, one thing that is interesting is this guy played Pelnor. <laughs> Spicy. Spicy stuff. Uh, wins the Nico seal of approval, I think. I think uh, when, when I tested this list, Nico was like, you should play Pelinor. And I did, and it was pretty fun. So this guy went in the fun route. Um, you find that the, the, the gold palinists all place high grade three counts, because yep. you have to. You have to run Percival, mm -hmm. you have to run Spectral, you have to run Full Cavalier. And then sometimes you have to run Pelinor, Pe right? So, <laughs> um, people are still experimenting with grade twos and ones. Uh, this guy's running Kaiden to get like the extra attacks, I think, mm -hmm. or just go through the deck. I think, no, actually, you don't get extra attacks, do you? No, you don't. You just, no. just Kaiden to get, get extra stuff. Yep. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You kind of need a Kaiden as well to dig your combo, mm -hmm. right? If you don't open like a one and two, uh, Vortimar, mm -hmm. you feel pretty bad, right? You just feel like. Yeah, it, yeah, that's the thing. Like, you want to dig, but, but back then you just rely on. Um, your right chain. Across. Yeah, right, right chain. Or, or... Old Spectral Duke was right chain. Mm -hmm. um, before this, before when you played Gurga, you didn't have a little right chain. You didn't care yep. what's in your soul. You just went face. Now you actually yeah. have to care. So yep. you're running these cards to kind of dig you, dig, dig you to those cards that yep. you need. So that's that's kind of it, right? That's kind of so pretty cool. Uh, they're running crits. I I don't know. I like fronts. Getting so many drive checks, getting fronts. I mean, sure, you have to set you like one of your columns mm -hmm. doesn't like get the value off the front, right? But because you're generating a lot of Excel circles anyway with Percival and at and Pelinor to some extent, getting fronts is pretty good. I don't know. I, I'm a fan yeah, of fronts. But I don't know. It feels like fronts need. You know, you have to develop your Excel circles for front to be useful. So mm -hmm. and you still might get shut down anyways. Even sure. Trigger front. Sure. Okay. All right. That's cool. Crit's uh, just easier, but maybe front is the way to go. Yeah. Crit, crit, crit is Chris is actually easier. It's like Chris versus stands, right? Except yep. stands got OP effects at the end. Yeah. So exactly. You don't play stand. You play both. Well, you don't play stand for standing raid guards. You just yeah, you play, play stand like, for the effect. Yeah. Exactly. The effect guards. <laughs> yeah. All right. Moving on. We have uh, another deck. It is Gold Paladin again. Mm. So uh, this guy had the same idea, except without the Pelinor. He has um, the whole Kaiden as well. Yeah, and... but well, yeah, he has the whole Kaiden loop, so he actually pluses off that, which I think is, is pretty good. Yeah. I think that's not bad, because one of the biggest problems with Spectral, when you're running the crit train, right, mm -hmm. is your stuff hits pretty low. Yeah. They don't hit high. So this, the, the whole solves that problem for the back row, but mm -hmm. the problem is like, I guess you retire stuff, right? Yeah. So um, you might be retiring your holes, which is not cool. But at the same time, it still does solve your power issue yeah. on those on your main on your main columns and rows, right? So I think that's pretty good. And then you're you're combining that with the chitin, which just works mm -hmm. to kind of dig for your thing. So I think this, this is pretty cool. Um, what do you think? Yeah, I mean uh, the idea is that you stitch a bit of um you know mini engines here and there, and you get a deck that can dig. Yeah, and and the good thing about this deck. Oh, just one copy. Well, no, it's it, well, you have one resil, but no, all of it is just a lot of it's from clan selection, right? So even oh, yeah. the, the kind of holes got right. yeah reprints. So 
if you're just starting off. Uh, well, the Percival's is going to cost you some money. <laughs> but you see, this guy only ran three because, I mean, I think Percival's now are really expensive still. So Yeah, wouldn't be surprised. I mean, <laughs> if any clan gets like a Percival sort of card, yeah. you will like, <laughs> go crazy over it. Yeah. But at least the rest of the deck can be pretty easily gone. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and then moving on, we have uh, another another Gold mm -hmm. Paladin. Uh, Gold Paladin very popular. It's because Spectral, Spectral yeah. Chunky Boy. Uh, he, he's got the same thing, the same idea, the Kite and Hole mm -hmm. combo. And yeah. I mean, it sort of makes sense as well. Like, technically, you can just retire the front row. You empty it. Next time, you get to proc it again. Mm, I, that's actually a very good idea because you empty the front row if you're facing something like Chaos, yep. which got released. Uh, they can't lock your front row unless they call in Zir Zirconium to mm -hmm. like make you call it to the front row. So that actually, that, that that's pretty good. It, it kind of negates that entire matchup to some extent, <laughs> um, or makes it better for you. Yeah. Right. Uh, this guy's actually running fronts though, so he's like got three fronts and then five crits. Yeah. So. I think with Gold Paladin, you can always like keep that um, fun, fun factor. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's it's possible uh, getting getting those Excel circles, right? Getting those Excel circles. So, yeah, pretty good. Uh, I, I do like I do like these gold lists. Definitely mm -hmm. way more thought out than you know initial testing of, yep. of the list. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, well, I think this is like kind of your one of your only choices anyway. Spectral or Aggravain, take your pick. And I think every, yeah. you know, Spectral. Spectral is a bit newer, has more regard support. So uh, went to the gym more. <laughs> big, big, big strong boy. Big strong boy. All right. And our next one we have uh, Angel Feather. Huh. So Angel, we actually seen like there was a time when no one played Angel Feather, right? Actually, nobody. We haven't seen Angel since like yeah. December. Like yeah. maybe people got tired of Gabriel, and now people are back because they want to win those like uh, win yeah, the tenth yeah. anniversary cards or something like that. Yep. And I guess this is kind of pretty good against Chaos again, like, right? When if we you're in it to win it. <laughs> yeah, well, if you re rewire your brain to try and beat Chaos, because mm -hmm. you never want to fight against the Chaos and feel bad, yep. then Gavril is not bad because you leave like some circles open because your hammer goes into soul. Well, or they're dead. If they don't want to play the game, yeah. I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> I guess if Chaos doesn't want to play the game, you don't have to play the game. Exactly, too, right? right? So it goes both ways. So. Fight fire with fire. Uh, interesting thing is like he runs only two of this grade two, which is kind of interesting. Uh, maybe, I mean, running he's... four um, Nokia, which is I yeah, think can get away with three. I, I think old old this ran three, but you know, go full ham four. Yeah. Um, grade grade th three searches, and then he's got like three of the the soul and power to to add into that OTK pressure. So I guess he's just running. You don't need this. This doesn't buff Hamiel. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I guess it's like. You, you might miss out on one damage check, but maybe yep. you don't really need it that much, right? So that's all right. That's all right. I can dig it. Uh, next, we have another Gavril deck. This oh. uh, this is like Table Gang, is it? <laughs> <laughs> very, very uh, Nokia, Nokia style. <laughs> this uh, is pretty good. And well, it's another it's another four uh, four Nokia list mm -hmm. um, with 16 crit. The other one was 15 crit, um, but he's got like the uh, he, I think it's kind of traditional, like, you know, he's got the four of this grade two, he's got the, the melee beds, is that, no, uh, belly meds, sorry. I always like that one copy of the grade two boost, I think it just, like, adds that kill potential. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. you just can't guard this thing. Sure, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um, so pretty similar to the old other list, but I think this list is pretty much figured out. Gabriel list is pretty much figured out, there's pretty much just two card differences between all of them. Yeah. Um, in second place, we have a, another Gold Paladin list, man. Huh. Gold Paladin rep, represent, uh, this guy is... Guy's like, well, he's gonna mat. I don't know what. Oh no, it's it's because of the um the COVID barriers. So it, it doesn't fit. <laughs> you have a smaller so, space. Yeah, smaller space. Um, this guy doesn't have any digs. You know, yeah, we're it's talking just... about like you know the the kite and hole digging. This guy just went full on um counter charge and aglavale kind of thing. That's four indrens. I'm like, how do you even proc it consistently? Just luck sack. Yeah. Just luck know. sack it, dude. <laughs> I don't know, like compared to, yeah, compared to the other two lists, I like this one the least. Yeah, this well, one's the other quite X lazy. Yeah, I mean, very just... lazy. I took out my Gurgits and put in some new stuff and I was done. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Just, not a big fan. <laughs> okay, uh, next one uh, we have is Angel Feather again, another Gavriel list. Mm. And uh, we got four, four no seals, yep. 16 yep. crit. Zane as well. Zane got, re I think got reprinted, right? But oh. gets you can remove stuff now. Yeah. Um, I think like things like ghosties, right? Ghosties can play protect two, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and they can be really annoying with like their intercepts now. Yeah. So having like this extra retire to get rid of these annoying intercepts now is pretty good. And even melody, yeah, they got they, they sub that thing. 
shoot it away, right? And then the rest of it is just your standard pump up, get fat, win the game kind of combo. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and then moving on. Whoa! Did you guys forget about Genesis? Hold on, this is Aki Canberra. That's Canberra. 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 That's right. it's Australia. Canberra, Australia. Remember, Australia. we've gone global. Okay. Capital. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, uh, one thing I noticed about this hmm. list is that it's less grade three or higher cuts. Yeah, it's like when I when I 10? see. Yeah, when I see Astral Power decks, I expect... Like 16, 17, 18? 20, you know... Plus just... the, um... Because there's way more hollows there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the Astral Power players we've seen have, have full hollowed their entire decks, right? Uh, but this one is a much less less full hollow, um, which is a good, good. You don't, you're not spending that much money on cards, right? Amen. Uh, it's also not 16 crit. So it's not 16, it's actually just uh, 8 crit. It's a very standard deck. A very standard deck. I know a lot of the big, big de like players or decks, deck builders. The idea behind the astral port being very strong is you run like YOLO 16 crit. Yep. Um, you ride in the high grade three count to kind of get that, um, that get get your kill potential going as soon as possible, kind of thing. And that's why people are afraid of it. But this yep. one's going much more standard, much more safe, I guess. Uh, and. I guess if you're like if you're going to locals, you don't really have to really care about mm -hmm. going into like full YOLO mode, yeah. right? Because that's kind of if you go to like a big tournament, maybe the full YOLO mode is the only way you win, and well, you try to one shot from zero to six. It's either you thing. go like top eight or you don't do anything, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's what a big nice tournament role. is, right? Yeah. Um, I guess it's not fun playing that kind of build at locals, though. Well. But no, well, no, it I, sort of turns it into like a semi helmet deck, uh, <laughs> but. Well, like, yeah, no, well, this, this, is, this mode is, is fine, too. This is fine. Uh, if you want a more consistent build of yep. Valkyrian. If you want to uh, keep your friends. Oh, no. Well, I, I want to know, like, if they go Force 1 or 2, actually, because oh. there, there's kind of a debate. I'm still on the Force 1 train. I'm on 1. I know a lot of people say 2 because they just don't care about their Vanguard. Yeah. Um, <sighs> and that's fine because I guess you want Force, if you could put Force 2 on Valkyrian and you restand a couple of times, hmm. um, you win. But I think it's, it, it's kind of... I think with Force 1 you have more turns that you can enjoy it. Well, not, not enjoying, but also your Vanguard is also a big hitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, and, and you, like, like, you run crits in the deck, they so you're can't getting just a crit, like, right? Yeah, they can't just ignore your lanes, basically. Yeah, like, with, with a Force 2, it feels like if you miss off a of Valkyrian, like, sure, you'll mm. get, a, you'll probably get a triple drive, right? Because yeah. you run heavy, tri like, grade 3 count. But if you, like, miss, like, a crit from your Valkyrian, your kill mm. potential seems very low. Yeah. Um, and at the same time, your Vanguard is not really hitting anything, yeah. right? So... Um, I, I still prefer the Force 1, but let me know what you guys think if you like Force 1 or Force 2. And then we got another Astral Port build um, from Japan. Oh, this yeah. one is a uh, much more, uh, I think it's much more what we're used to seeing as well. Mm -hmm. This heavy, they, they've extended that grade 3 count, plus two more of uh, Uranus. Mm -hmm. Um, we, we do sometimes see Asterios Dragon. Yeah, like one or two copy, but yeah. without it, you can live without it. Well, no, I, well, Mo always tells me you got to run that Asterios, dude. Mm -hmm. Asterios is legit. Um, I, I know some. I know some Japanese players. Like, I read in their astral Pole things that Asterius is like the like sleeper, a key card, yeah, yeah, sleeper, sleeper key card. card. Yeah, I agree. So um, well, this is this is not this is local. So yeah. yeah. But anyway, it's 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 much much more heavy. Well, not two cards heavier. Um, so if you want to expand that more, go for it. Right, go for yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, is he is he sixteen crit? Yeah, it's sixteen crit. So sixteen crit as well. So also more YOLO. <laughs> All right, so that's that's all from Divine Lighting Radiance block with new cards added. Uh, we can now let, let's look at the most meta decks of the current oh, format, yes. <laughs> and you will probably be surprised. Let's start off oh. with Luad, right? The boy's back. I mean, the old king is dead. The older <laughs> king comes back. Yeah, like Luad is back now. The, when when people think Luad, right? I think it's kind of interesting because. If we have to, again, we're thinking in Chaos Breaker, Luar mm. feels bad because sure, you generate three force markers, but you only get three lines to attack with. Yep. So what do you do? They lock your front row and Just then two attacks, basically. You, you lose your force markers. You don't do anything. What do you do? Uh, so there's actually some very interesting text. All right. So we have this new card here that I want to point out. It's a PR. Oh, it's, it's a, a PR. PR, man. It's a PR. <laughs> uh, it's a, let, let's try and read this. Calvary Feza Dragon. Is that is that Calvary Feza? Oh, oh yes, multilingual. Uh, so the interesting thing about this card is seven k. Uh, when it attacks or boosts mm -hmm. for the battle, it gets plus five k, or you can give it five k, and then at the end of the battle, you retire this card. 
That was really bad. You get 5k power and you neg one. Yes! <laughs> but you retire it! What does that mean? Your circle is empty. <laughs> so they have to zirconium your front row, or they have to lock well they can't lock it, they have to zirconium the front row. And that's the only way they can do that. Yeah. Or you can just play super lame and just put like two of these down on your like first grade three ride. Uh, you hit 12k, which uh, feels bad, but you know, you don't need a force marker on your Vanguard. Well, I know. So you're, if you go grade three, grade three, you put two force markers down, they hit 22. Yep. Your Vanguard itself hits 23. Uh, so you can kind of just pressure play. like that. Yep. And then your circle, then everything's empty. Mm -hmm. Your friends are like, what do I do? Zirconium, what do you want to just put in the back row and you're, that, you're mm -hmm. done, right? So that's, that's, that's what I think is one of the ways that they're combating the current metagame. And if, and if they don't, if they don't face the chaos, you just, just ignore it, right? Just play normally, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> you have enough other decks, you have enough other cards in the slot to like yeah. play normally. Yeah. And like when you, like the, the worst matchup was like against like Gurgit, which is kind of like an auto win for Gurgit. Yeah. So now they don't have it. But that's just because of the one turn advantage yeah. and yeah. Percival. But now, now, now Gurgit's gone. Yep. Less defensive power there. Uh, let's let's excel circle. So yeah, you just 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 champ chilling, man. You're chilling. So Luard is quite back. And See, all this this is what I mentioned before. Luard like being just having those two great threes make the deck so like flexible. Like oh, there's a new meta. Let's just modify some of my great ones and bam, mm, you suddenly mm. come like competitive again. And this is yeah. what I really like about the deck. Yes. Well, you basically have hollow units. I mean, let's be honest. Like Shadow Paladin, big big. Big fan base. Yep. Everyone will be happy except people who don't like spending money. Um, <laughs> the shadow tax. Yeah. Unfortunately, like the cards they printed in clan selection for Shadow Planet aren't very good. Like, sure you got the mains, well, but Luar doesn't use. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Mm, mm. Uh, okay, moving on to the next deck. We have another Luar deck. Oh yeah. Yeah. This guy, uh, he's not playing the Dude. PRs because cl clearly. <laughs> Clearly there's no one at his meta playing Chaos Breaker, or he just doesn't care. Or maybe he buys all the Chaos. Uh, he bought all the Chaos, so now no one can play. <laughs> one strat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, this is just a much more traditional uh, list. It doesn't even run Apocalypse Bats. Yeah, it, it runs yeah. like eight great twos, that, which is like... It's one, one more, more than more. usual, right? One more than usual. <laughs> How yeah, unusual. No multi-attacks, purely focusing on just establishing... It's just like solitaire.com. Yeah, well, establishing a, a, an easy early game. Mm -hmm. um, you got the knees. Bam, try to get the Leofel like yep, that. Yep. So yeah, it's meta pick, maybe no one there plays Chaos. Yep. It's good. You don't need it. You don't need to you don't need to think you about changing you don't need the deck. Like a super yeah. high ceiling. It's mm. like the deck by itself will carry. That's right. Uh next one, uh this guy has gone uh oh, yeah. three PRs. Look at this. This guy hates Chaos so much, he added one more PR compared to the <laughs> other guy. Uh, it's a, Apocalypse bat, otherwise the rest of the deck is all the same. You see they took out the the, the Lels? Was it Lules? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to say it. Um, in like J Japanese, like sweels, sweels, right? I don't know. But it's very Irish. I'm not Irish. I can't really say that. So yeah, they, they kind of took that out to put this in. Um, so that, I think that's fine because Brand when it's 13, you, you're sacrificing some power, mm -hmm. right? Because you don't have that 20k boost anymore. But you know, it's matchups, right? Matchups. This chaos beats you. You just got to take against it. You know? Well, like you, then again, you like decks are a bit slower these days, and you have time to find. Yeah. Um, Force it, markers, so it, you can get away with no loots. If people are going to the idea of like, you know, joining with clan selection mm -hmm. decks, um, then yes, right? Everything should be a lot slower, mm -hmm. right? Uh, one thing, he's already knees though. No knees, oh, yeah. uh, and he's got the eight grade twos. So, uh, kind of... Wait, is that two paint, two painter, two... Mm, yeah, yeah, you need two painters with, yeah. with two, uh, with, with the two apocalypse. Whenever you're on bats, I think you definitely need yeah, two painters. Yeah, three yeah. of the cavalry fetter, so... Mm. Takes up a bit of slot. All right, cool. Well, I like to see these new techs. Yeah, it's nice and sweet. It's what when was it? Uh, when was that cut released? I don't know. <laughs> I maybe don't we know. do have it in English. Mm, maybe we maybe do. We do. <laughs> nice, dig it up. Yeah. Uh, next one we have is oh, Geek Chronicle, um, but it's actually Rebellion. Well, this so, guy's insane. This guy. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's literally like your old deck. Except you add a new Time Reaper. Is that one copy? Yeah, one copy of <laughs> Time copy. Reaper. You don't even need anything else new. And then 16 crit. Yep. It's Pretty like cool. Suddenly, your turn four becomes like super good. Yeah. It's like if you don't kill them on like the first tiger, then you just go Time Reaper. No, you no, you go Time Reaper before. You can even, yeah, you can even do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, it's like, it's just an extra option, really. Mm. It's an extra option. Um, but 
I think it's still just go Kuna Rebellion all the time. <laughs> yeah. Like, honestly, before you didn't really have much choice, right? Because you, you just played Rebellion, your other options kind of sucked. Was Rebellion out when they have 16 crits, or was it were they forced they, to use draw triggers at that time? Uh, mm. well, it, it came out the set before you got the, the, the draw nulls. Crits. So, then after that, it was like not even, no one played Vanguard then, dude. Oh, it, was, it was during lockdown, so. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, and then next one, we have another Chrono Rebellion list. Wait, hold on. Um, Go back. Yeah. Uh, Is that the same playmat? Yeah, it's the same playmat, eh? Looks huh. like the same deck. I think it is the same deck. The same shop. Huh. But the date of it, this one's on the February 13th. And then this one is February 14th. So Wait. the same guy won at the same <laughs> shop two days in a row. Valentine's Eve and day. Yeah, so he probably he probably <laughs> was like, he won on the 13th. And then he's like, well, I've got nothing to do tomorrow, <laughs> right? Well, and then he just <laughs> it's time to no, win no, again. no date tomorrow. Let's just go to the shop again and <laughs> win again. <laughs> this guy wakes up in the morning. He's like, I'm going to win. Next day, he wakes up again. He's like, yeah, I'm going to win again yeah, today. Yeah. <laughs> well, cool stuff. Screw girls. I've got card games, dude. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be a girl. We don't know. <laughs> Woo. Uh, next one, uh, we have another Gear Chronicle deck. This, this guy really likes the floor. <laughs> <laughs> like half of his photo is the floor. Yeah, it's it's floor gang right here, dude. Um, this one we've gone back to Kuna Jet, mm. uh, but we see Zaid, Zaid, Zaid being yeah. played. Uh, so yeah, no, the, the comments in the previous one really told us the cool stories about Zaid. Uh, really cool. Uh, you Of course, you discard, so it works with Ribble. That's mm. nice. Uh, but because since you usually have a smoke gear on the field, your Ribble is always a grade three, right? So you can always basically retire everything you want mm -hmm. um, and you win, right? You, you get out, you, you retire uh, and then you get an extra attack. So it just works, works out pretty well. It's like a three piece combo they can search out, which is yeah. like pretty smart. And it's like, yeah, you, you time reaper into it uh, and you, you always have smoke gear. Let's be yeah. real. You always yeah. have smoke gear, man. So <laughs> uh, this is just, just, just good deck. It's a good deck that just got better. Yeah. Uh, next we have is uh, another Geek Chronicle deck. Mm -hmm. uh, same idea. It's a cool good, good deck. Yeah, yeah. It's a good deck. Uh, he's running some Steam Breath Dragon still though. Uh, usually, like mm -hmm. people have been taking it out for Lost Dog A, but you can kind of like mix it. Yeah. Um, I think he's got it like in like the borderless version, so he yeah, just it's wants just, to put it in. just very, very <laughs> blingy. Um, this is 13k, so that that part is also pretty good. Uh, he's only got three three Tagars though. Yeah, well, like feels a bit weird, right? You want. This got reprints. I don't know why he's still on one Metallica Phoenix. Yeah, I don't so, know why don't... Phoenix. What is it? Doing Do you really that? need it? Like you can just replace the Time Reaper, make it like nah, five. Dude, slots. this guy's like pretty maxed out. He's just he just wants to like have one of each or something. Mm, true. It's like a... But the Metallica is just common, so that's disgusting. <gasps> it's it's a it's a it's a yeah, very pleb. Uh, the old Metallica man. Maybe he just wants to. Maybe remove. he doesn't have like another SP, <laughs> SP. next stage. Right? Well, it's a pretty so, common yeah. card. They put a common card. Oh, it's just man. gonna look bad if you put the non-SP. It's just gonna look bad, right? Mm. Yeah. It's uh, max rarity. <laughs> it's max rarity now. <laughs> uh, next one we have is uh, wait, actually, hold on. Is that actually cool. magic? Is Tagaz SP? I think to, to I think there is. Yeah, so the no, this SP is, pack. Oh no, man, it's not as Peter. Dude. Dude. Yeah, that's that's the thing we have to clear. Mm. Uh, yeah, next one, um, we have. So this guy clearly went to Adobe Photoshop and pressed the sharpen button probably too many times. I can't read any of this. Yeah. But luckily, he provided us a deck log. Oh, how kind. Yeah. He knew. He knew he screwed up when he sharpened too much. Um, I actually really like this list. What do you think, Kelvin? You are the Grand Blue. Meta dog here. It's not meta. <laughs> it's such a meta dog deck. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, running four copy of the great, the new great one sort mm. of makes sense if you want to go with that path. You just you know, toolbox. You put a bunch of like one, two copy ghosty cards. Yes, I like that. I multi like that. Yeah, I'm and a big the, fan of of toolboxes. And you just go, you know, protect two multi attack. Yeah. And if that doesn't work out, you right get like rows. one grade lower, right? Hmm? Is it? Yeah, so, you do, yeah. So, yeah, so, so think, true becomes one, then you become a zero, yeah. right? So I think of yeah. them as like the Russian dolls. Like they sort of pop into like, the smaller <laughs> one. Yeah. yeah. And so, then every now and then you get to counter charge one. Right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like hmm. that. So is this approved or not approved? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a Night Rose fan, but okay. I can dig it. 
All I right. can dig it. Yeah, and in case everyone's saying, why are you so rude to Kelvin calling him a meta dog? Uh, it is actually not me who invented the term, right? Our good friend Wang Zhang, whose English is not very good, he's also on the team. He likes calling people meta dogs when they play meta decks. Yeah, because he doesn't know. He is the biggest meta dog though, because he has all the <laughs> meta decks. He only plays meta decks. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, next one we have is uh, another Vermeer another deck. One. This one's Night Rose. Hmm. Um, so he's got. Dude, that's eight draws. Eight? No. Eight? Well, what? Eight, eight draws? draws. I thought it was only four draws. Eight draws. Nulls and a vanilla 5k. I don't Dude, know. Dude, haven't you seen? No. Can't you see his mat? He's got the breathing technique. He's not afraid <laughs> like of, of decking out, dude. <laughs> he, he, he could just, he knows where the draws are, so he'll never deck himself out, dude. But, um, I don't know about this deck. I really don't know. It also doesn't, he also doesn't run um, Columbug, which is very strange. Wait, what? <laughs> dude, he runs four of the like new ghosts in no Columbug. Why? He doesn't even have the zero, the Chappie the ghosty, right? You don't really need it. Oh, Chappie's pretty cool. Not, not <laughs> But uh, I, this looks like kind of a lazy list. Yeah. Do you yes, really like need it. that many Beatrice in a Night Rose deck? No, you can... Two or three is fine. Yeah. You can still mill it out with your great one. I mean, if you play Night Rose, you want Columbard, right? Yes, but I guess do. you have Beatrice, but Columbard is still very, very good. Like, how do you mill... Like, you only run one Skeleton Cannoneer as well. And uh, you don't... Mean navigator. Navigator. Cannoneer is premium. Nav <laughs> can oh, we haven't got Cannoneer in, like, V, uh, have we? It's premium, oh, dude. Yeah, sir. So, but one... Navigator and no, like, see if you run one Navigator or two, but you run four copy of Columbine, I can still dig that because mm. my arg argument is by the time you get that one CB, you get the um, Navigator out and that's fine. Mm. So this but is here. an unapproved list. No, um, unapproved. Yeah. Draw. Okay. I don't know what you're trying to do with it. Um, <laughs> but hey, okay. If somebody is that, knows... is that a roofer cover? No, it's not, it's not, it's, it's not? something else. Okay, unlucky. No approvals. No approvals from us. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, next one, we're in the Grand Blue list. Uh, this is just oh, yeah. Beatrice focused, it seems. And it seems he's got most of it down pat, you know. He's only got yeah. four draws, so he's not eight. Uh, he's got, he's got uh, Chappie. Chappie's good. Yeah, Chappie's cool. Um, he hasn't maxed out his twos, which no, is correct, Which right? is correct. You don't want four copies because it, the effect is once per turn. Mm. So, mm -hmm. Whereas the great one, you do want four copies because it works when you ride it and also when you call it from... Oh. So you, oh. you just mill out all your pieces and go ham. Okay. So yeah, is that enough ship? One ship is enough? One ship is generally okay. Because you don't have a lot of ways to call it. Uh, okay. Oh, that's cool. I watched a really interesting documentary about ships before I came here. Ships it's are cool. It's from the internet historian, man. He just oh, yeah. released a new video. Have you watched it? Uh, not yet. Not that uh, we should watch it after this. Okay. We better hurry this up then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one, we have another one. Oh, yeah. Uh, Night Rose Focus now. Mm. So, all right, I think this guy subscribed to your idea pretty well. He's only got one, two. Yep. Is that a good thing? Yeah. He's got four navigators. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you're not a fan of four navigators, though. Uh... I think it's fine. Wait, does he have days. any of the great one? Run the new great one because he's running like almost no ghosties in the deck. Ooh, okay, so, so just... he's just hard mill hard so this deck. This is an old Night Rose deck with That's a Beatrice right. there to kind of yep. get the combos off. Pretty much, yeah. This is just the old deck with Beatrice as like a che cheaper way of getting mm. your call one. Okay, that's cool. Yep. So if you have the old list, you don't have to play Beatrice and you still like Nairos, just yep. put two of it in and yeah. you've got a good, good deck going. Yeah, like, don't... hardly any changes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I think the only thing you take out is the um, the other grade to that CB1 call guy. Yeah. Because now you can just Soul Blast. That's good. That's good. All right, then. Now we move on to the Rogue Gallery. Oh. See, this this feels like a much more traditional... Uh... I don't know, man. Ground Blue feels pretty rogue to me, but there's so many lists, lists out there. But... I mean, we're, we're hitting like... We're going to hit 45 minutes, on, right? This is oh. like old school top decks. Okay. So now, oh. Rogue Gallery of Chaos. Right? This is everyone's boogie man. Uh, we haven't seen it much, though. But everyone texts against it. Well, we saw a bit of it in the first week it came out, yeah. and then it sort of... Well, not the like... first. The second week it second came week. out. Oh, first yeah, week, there was yeah, yeah. no Chaos. Yep. Right? No because chaos. it was like... Lockdown. Yeah, lockdown. That's right, lockdown. All right, uh, but I don't know. I don't think anyone's really figured out a good mm. list for Chaos yet. Well, you only have 12 cards. Let's well, be real. So 12 here. cards, what do you put into the rest of it? Well, you have yeah. to run Blue Lurl, this yeah. the centipede. Um, the, but then, okay, this guy's gone, like, given with the leaders. See, we saw one decent list with the leaders, and that's because they run the PR that counts as the three frog, when right. you retire it. So the given and the frog sort of works out. 
for a push turn. But this guy, so this guy is running the stuff that calls stuff lock yeah. from hand to try and combo with the draw. Yeah, which and this is kind of filters like this kind of like draws one as well for a mm. counter blast. But the question I have is, how you're gonna use so much counter blast? Yeah, right. You're actually gonna get stuck at some yeah. point. And it feels very bricky as well because you have mm. to draw like two exact pieces, otherwise it's not gonna work out. Yeah. You don't even want to use the effect because you like technically. Yeah. CVs. yeah. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm not a fan of this one, unfortunately. Yep, this one. If um, you play the frog, I might dig it. Yeah. I don't know. I think there's still way more like chaos builds that people can come up with. But, yeah. you know, chaos is just that kind of deck. If you have chaos and you get it and you play against a deck that can't deal with it, you win. Right? And then if you don't, you just cry. Like, mm. Unlucky, right? Uh, next one we have is Bermuda. Crazy. Burgers. Yeah, crazy rogue deck. We haven't seen Bermuda in a while now. Um, but prisms, yeah. You know, you know, you know what happened? I bought a prism deck mm. just because it was so cheap. I, I bought the playset and they're like, man, I just feel like buying a deck. I want to, I want to be a meta doll, right? Let's go, let's go buy a prism. Deck. I just want to build island and have fun, like you know. No, what? you don't. And Nezkas and stuff cost like seventy USD or something now. What? I think the Highlander Grade Fours. I was watching like what Solemn's investment thing with uh, M Call, right? And apparently, all the Grade Fours. Like 70 USD or something. I thought English hates Bermuda. Yeah. I don't know. Right. <laughs> <Crazy. Bro>, just <laughs> donate your Bermuda cuts to me. That's yeah. like problem, problem solved. Yeah, no, we've got, we got Burger King here. Burger King. Uh, Prism, Burger King. Uh, so you very lean. Very lean. <laughs> and then you got the fatty engine. <laughs> um, but I guess it just works anyway because yeah. one side gets fat. And the other side... Multi-attacks. Multi-attack. <laughs> yeah. Um, Prism works with anything. Because yeah. it's 12 crit, right? Yeah, Prism works with crit. anything. Um, yeah. So that's, that's Either way you cool. go aggro. Yeah. Uh, next one we have is Eradicators. <laughs> the weekly Eradicators is back. Um, this this guy's is try hard. This is 16 crit Eradicators, man. Is it high rarity? Oh my god, yeah, it is. Very high rarity Eradicators oh as well. God. He's got one Nacho. Yeah. He's you run four now, right? Yeah, you can run four, <laughs> but maybe, yeah, he's just poor <laughs> for the last. But yeah, no, this is Yu Gi Oh! Gang. Look at this mat, you know, he's on the Yu Gi Oh! Oh table. Yeah. Um, 16 crit as nice well. Very sad. Yeah, uh, just weekly eradicators. <laughs> weekly eradicators, dude. Find the right tournament. Mm. Uh, next one is uh, New Nectar. Mm. So I, I think New Nectar is pretty good. I think, yeah, the New Nectar is a lot more like fun compared to what it had. In well, that's a pretty years. bad, you know, comparing to the previous New Nectar is like, Pretty much comparing <laughs> like a nice looking pet rock compared to a turd. Sure. I don't, I don't know how that how that works, sure. but the old Neo Nectar was very good. I mean, no, it works because Neo Nectar is like plants, right? Yeah. And plants need fertilizer. Yeah. So turdy, yeah. So it just it just works, right? It's like poetry. It just rhymes. Sure. <laughs> um, and no, Neo Nectar is 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 just better now. Mm -hmm. Um. What do you think about the six scroll? I thought like by drawing a lot, you want to draw more quality cards. Uh, I think like it's fine. Do you need it? I think uh, I don't know. Like with me, I feel like six draw to eight uh eight crit is like fine. Like anywhere with the six six to like eight four is fine. The, the differences are very minimal, but like six draw kind of lets you draw a few more cards. Mm. And um overall, right? Like he only runs four grade three. So That's true. He, he has he already has like a decent amount of grade ones. His guard power is slightly higher than normal. Mm. So having those extra draws just don't feel bad. You mainly want to just draw into the pieces that can kind of help you recycle those tokens yep. or help you generate tokens kind of thing. So I think it's fine. Mm. I think it's fine. Um, and then the next one we have is uh, Brunei Gang, right? Ooh. Brunei Gang. Uh, this is Malkut oh, Malek, right? This is uh, so first place was Dark Irregulars, uh, oh. Gastille. Second was. Uh, Genesis, mm -hmm. and then third place is like Shadow Paladin, and fourth place is this okay. one. So we're starting with fourth place. Fourth place, yeah. Man, these these these, are, these names are pretty funny. Well, not funny, but pretty funny. Like, Azar, Roxas. Do you know Roxas? <laughs> Sting. <laughs> Sting man, Car. Right. So this is Car's list. It's like they're, um, they're all from like FF. <laughs> <laughs> they're all from an animation of some sort, except Azar. Is it Azar? I, it can be like. I don't know. It can be like 13. Let, let us know in the comments <laughs> below. <laughs> if it's asked from it anyway. Uh, so, the most interesting thing about this list is that it's zero damage game. Oh, wait, oh, this is the. 
Which, which this is a night. I think it's night roots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good choice. Good choice. Good stuff. Uh, Manu, we haven't seen um, M and M's in a while, mm. uh, but <laughs> I don't know. I like M and M's. M and M. The tasty, but the new stuff is pretty good. It's mm. instead of playing Gabriel, you can be way more aggressive with it. Yep. Uh, you immediately set up your limiters. If mm -hmm. that's what it's called in English. But you immediately set this up so you can guard restrict early. Mm -hmm. uh, you get kind of fat early, you play protect two. Um, and then next turn you can kind of set up your, uh, you can rewrite again and do that, do the oh, M&M yeah. combo. You can set up your hospital then. Um, but otherwise just straight down beat down. Mm -hmm. Seems pretty good. Um, like, I, I like aggro protect decks. Mm, aggro protect it. Well, you play grand blue, so yeah, pretty, much, exactly. pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, third place we have Shadow Paladin here, mm -hmm. um, kind of weird. Got, um, oh, I think we've seen this guy before. He's yeah. got this card. Um, he's like got, trying to mix the well, both engines. But oh, this is Mori and Spear, right? Screen. Well, Mori Spear is very generic. Mm. Um, but n no, mate, like there's no chaos, right? So yeah, we haven't seen chaos from Brunei yet. Uh, so we don't need the PR, but you know, dude, check it, check out the top decks, man. The one. Getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> Got all the tools in the shed. Yeah, you, if you're playing Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> um, next one we have is Genesis. So here we go. Okay. Uh, old and school we're... Genesis Fenrir. Mm -hmm. um, quite a lot of crits. Yeah. Is it, is it nine crit. Um, but otherwise, yeah, Regali combo, uh, and then Fenrir. You get like Angelica coming out next next stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, the great one and two from the clan selection two is very good. Mm -hmm. So maybe this this will this will change, but good stuff. Representing non astral poets. Non astral poets. And then first place we've got Azar, the the one we're questioning if he's from an anime or not. Uh, Dark Rings. So, whew, I thought this was Shara. No way, bro. But it's actually NLK. Wow, stuff. dude. Uh, NLK. I don't. Know, okay, so you're a Dark Rings player, but mm -hmm. actually you don't play standard. So your opinion. Well, Doesn't that's because you took all the standard DI cards, bro. <laughs> I like standard DI, man. It's just fun and interactive. Like we actually um, have like what four DI decks around? We had four yeah. DI premium decks because everyone had to play it for one yeah, year. I have I played them, NLK for a year. I have them in Japanese and English. Wow, what a sip, bro. What a sip. NLK is the <laughs> best card ever. So I'm assuming <laughs> that NLK helps create a lot of soul. Um, let me know your thoughts. Well, you, need thoughts, you, you, you can get that 20 soul while keeping aggro, so you don't have to just, you know, focus mm. on soul charging. You can just play normally. And I think it's easy to get the soul than it is with, like, um, Chara. Chara, yeah. Yeah, I think it will, you will eventually get to that soul. Like, your Vanguard actually gets you soul. But yeah, anyway, and soul. like, you can do stuff like two number of Terra, suck in two things to draw a billion. Yeah, NLK sucks in the rest to, to ride something else. Yeah, you can do that. Like, and then you know you know what's what's good about that? Rodia. No. It makes an empty field. Oh! Ooh, no. Nothing okay. can touch you now! Alright, alright, so let's just chaos matchup. Chaos matchup, anything matchup. What well what else cares about your field, right? I mean you could beat yeah, you could beat Gurga by riding to Rodia now, but who cares? Mm. But uh, you Rodia and then ride Castile, right? Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do that. You can even go lower. You could write yellow bolts. Nothing, no, the sky is your limits, man. <laughs> you can write your trigger. Yeah, you could. You could. Just like, can't stop, won't stop, man. It's like, I'll <laughs> defeat you with this card. It's like, draw trigger. It has a crit, though. <laughs> it gets a crit. Uh, but yeah, no. So, it, just a heads up, it all came to Gastille doesn't work. You still has to main that, phase, yeah, battle phase. At the beginning One of the battle phase, phase yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. yeah, it, it doesn't work, guys. So, you, yep. so either NLK into NLK or NLK into like uh, Rodia. Yeah, NLK to NLK, and then the next turn you'll have 20 soul. Yes, and then you just ride Gastille. Yeah. And then you hopefully make them feel bad. Yeah. yeah. So I guess that's how the deck works. You can keep it filled empty. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the second last road deck we have is Blouse. So as you see, this, this guy deck is, is full of like random crap. Yeah, it's clearly table game here, no mat. Um, it's got like a... all sorts of different sleeves. Oh, it's got K. Yeah, K. K. Burger. Gup. Gup stuff. So automatically seal of approval, man. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, this deck is very No. Good. Hey, so yeah, burgers. Oh, I get it. No burgers. No, <laughs> no burgers. <laughs> I get it. It's um, Panzer. Blow Panzer. <laughs> oh! oh! Panzer sleeve. Oh, that's a bit lame, but... 
broken. All right, so yeah, okay. it's Blau deck, um, right? Blau deck. Um, He's got the same idea. Play Franz, play the thing, the Bengal. Does he play the Bengal? No, no, oh, Bengal. No, 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 oh, Bengal. This, no, Bengal. Um, it's just like, it's just gonna sack the shit out of his opponent. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, he's got one, one shout. Yep. Yeah. All right, and then lastly, we have Hold. Murakumo. Hold on. Yeah, dude. These, these very familiar cards. Yeah. Looks like I'm seeing an old friend. <laughs> Yeah, I think we made a video about this. Yeah, we Maybe made... two videos about it. Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, this is the Murakumo Infinite Loop yep. combo. We can you see you know dual wield, uh, dual, dual weapon. Yep. Uh, Tamba, you know Metamorphox. Okay, so uh, if, if if you've only been playing premium and all you know is like Hugo New, eh? Check our video from like last like year? two years ago. <laughs> two years ago. I think it's. Oh, we made another video. I think we made another video as well because yeah. I think Baga Top Eight did something with like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but the list has changed because you don't don't need Hugo anymore. Yeah. You have because... removal of Yasui, mm. and then Yasui also clones things. Right? Yeah. So it just makes so, life easier. Yeah. Clones two things. Yeah. Or one or two, depending on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, What's a random grade three actually? This Sorry. just when it doesn't hit, you can kind of. Uh, grab like a dual weapon. Okay, so it's or not a tumble from the, from the yeah. So okay, it's, it's okay. Fair. It's pretty good. Um, and then the G zone, pretty oh, simple. Man. You probably don't even need this. You don't. Yeah, you just split one up. <laughs> you don't need this. <laughs> like, it doesn't even run. Um, it, new A. This is the first yeah. Murakumo preview. Oh, yeah, no, no new A. No new A. Oh, no new A, yeah. dude. Whoa, How refreshing. It's Gilgal though. It's so simple. <laughs> Big yeah. fan. So so yeah, that's that's it from Twitter. I, but, I got I got a message from Facebook. Remember, we, we've got four. global, Facebook global people. boys. Uh, so Facebook time. Right, so uh, now you can start posting top decks in Facebook, and yeah. we'll we'll hunt you down. Hunt you down. So yeah, we've got Facebook here. Uh, this is from Perth, apparently. Mm. Um, so Darren first with Bermuda Triangle. Also, oh, we're seeing Bermudas again. Mm -hmm. Second was Wayne with Royal, and third was Derek. Good old Derek Dave. with Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, so let's take Damn a look. Place, bro. Come let's on. Take a look at these decks. All right. So first thing we got is uh, we've got a Lupina deck. So oh, this army build, eh? Uh, the old old Lupina um, TD build, and yeah, pretty straightforward. Yeah. I can see he's got four uh, four Aquas, four Lieslot, uh four Sedna, mm -hmm. no no Ellie's, no but I think I think we kind of forgive that because it's Lupina. Uh, maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. No. No. It's it's Lupina. Lupina coming first. Wow. He's, Usually... been, he's been watching a lot about your videos, man. Uh, but I don't. I don't build this deck. I, I build Melody. Yeah, but you're like Lupina. simping so hard uh, from Lupina. Lupina. T two. T two. T two. Uh, next next face we have is Royals. We've got Sanctuary Guard. Oh yeah. All right. So we, we've seen the Sanctuary Guard a lot. Mm. Um, this time it's a. Uh, I think Sanctuary Guard was pretty expensive the box, right? But yeah, actually. I think it's quite strong. I think Sanctuary is, is quite worth it mm -hmm. if you're going to stick around in, in V for a while. Um, especially Jewel Knights coming out makes the deck kind of better as well. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, no, I think Sanctuary is a very solid Royal Paladin choice. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, it feels like a Royal Paladin deck. It's very honest, very stable. Very honest. You'll win locals. <laughs> yeah. And then I think lastly, we have Derek. Play. Derek, Derek, I think oh. the I think Derek the night or the week before was like, can yeah, you give me a list. good list, right? And I just said, run four of everything, yep. and then one flex slot. And then he's like, what's the flex slot? It's like, you can just run anything, dude. You know, like Aurora can run anything. So it looks like you just took the Is Aurora. Is that why you asked Mark? Yeah, that's why I asked Mark too. I'm like, hey Mark, <laughs> what's your flex slot that you're running? And he's like, I, I run I run the one that like bounces back to us. So yeah, no, that's, <laughs> this is the flex. <laughs> oh, this is the WCC list. Yeah, no, but but you, you see, it, it's so simple to build this list. Yeah, right? it is. And it's yeah. so cheap. Yep. Like what? You got prisms, and then again, hey dude, you run four LEs. Dead. You run four aquas, you run four these lots. <laughs> you've, you've got a Trinity Force plus one. Uh, you, yeah, get the senders. Get the Rotoku, you're done, bro. Uh, oh, he's, not, he's only running. Eight crits though. Oh, maybe that's why. Ooh. Maybe that's why. Dude, if you went twelve crit, you would have won, man. Bro. Mm. Unlucky. When it's Nelson, your opponent's <laughs> dead. <laughs> uh, and then now, since again we've got uh, global, global right? Mm -hmm. Now we're moving to Indonesia, oh, your favorite yes. country, Kelvin. Mud hut land. <laughs> so this, they had a qualifier, I think, um, for uh, for one of their community events. They have it's qualifiers. A, qualified to the to a bigger tournament, I think. They have big tournaments. Yeah, according to this post that I cannot read, maybe you can read it. Uh, uh, My Indonesian is very bad. Uh, what a jerk. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, yeah, no, it's uh, it's I can read some. 
so I can read. I can read this part. Participants. Uh, <laughs> well, there were seventeen oranges that joined oranges. this tournament. Um, but yeah, no. There's first place was Kevin with Mute Triangle. Second was Matthew Evans with Link Joke Chaos. Woo. Uh, third place was Alfian with Neo Nectar Maiden, and fourth place was Ilham with Gold Spectral. And then this this entire two lines is laughing at fifth place, right? Which is Yosef. Uh, no, the fourth place guy already qualified. Oh, so, so fifth, fifth place got it. Oh, done. congratulations, how, man. How, how kind. How kind. Yeah, all right, that's cool. You see, but he's here, we can I, I can read it. Otherwise, it would have been a... He, they didn't even tag the fifth guy. Unlucky. It's because he came fifth. Right? Oh. He was actually fourth. So it's like tag, it's like flexing. Yeah. It's like, yeah. if you want to find these strong players, yeah. here's, here's the stalking link. Mm. Dangerous. Well, Kelvin, I can tell you something. This part means overdress. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm, I'm learning. So, that's, <laughs> that's insane. I'm, I'm so... And, and clearly there's no better way to say good luck. <laughs> Alright, so let's go look at some lists. Enough enough learning Indonesian with uh, Kelvin here. Lists, uh, lists. We've got Link Joker! Hey, this list... This actually looks like an okay list, I think. Um, so again, right, we have our, our 12 Starvators, which yep. you automatically include because they're all pretty good. Mm -hmm. You got a great three searcher. Centipede. centipede, he's got four centipedes, which is fine. Uh, this helps you search a grade three. Mm -hmm. Uh, you run the, this Nordstrom dragon, I think it's called, is it? Or it's something else. But basically he's a counter charger dragon. Um, you okay. find something, uh, and then you have two of this card, which is basically just soul blast, soul blast, get like 10k or 10k power or shield. Yep. Um, and then this one is like a control card. If you, if you would, I think it's like on attack or so, uh, if you bind two of their cards and if you don't bind two, you counter charge and soul charge one. Oh. Something like that. So it, you've got the control here, uh, you've got stuff. You've got the you counter charges here. Mm. You don't really need too much of it in my opinion, but basically you just focus on the chaos, the chaos points. Yeah. This feels more like a lane joker control build instead of just like, I have mm. star faders and I need some other cards to fill in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think he's running like what six six draw six mm. draw. He's great. Yeah, you want pieces? Is he, is he hiding cards? I don't know. He the hidden tech? Maybe. Yeah. You guys, we, we haven't we haven't counted this. So yep. let us. You can, you can just count. Just count. You, you'll find it. And then next we have is our Bermudas. So pretty good. See, so pretty much like the it was actually, but oh, Prism Arge. Prism, yeah. Prism Arge. Yeah. Um, but you know, you take out some stuff for Arge, but you have you still have the stuff. You, know, you have these a lot, Aquas and Ellies. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, always good to see. Uh, pretty good mat as well. Uh, Saber, Saber Gang. Yeah, Saber, Saber Gang, right, right there. Um, next we have is, oh, another Neo Nectar deck. I just knocked the entire table, but yeah, another Neo Nectar deck. Um, this guy is running some dragons, wow. basically to turn into tokens. And um, he's got the crits going on, so not not, not the extra draws. But like I said before, it should be it's fine. fine yeah. Um, I don't know, I like, I like tomato in this deck. Hmm. I don't really see that many people running tomatoes. Uh, but overall, yeah, pretty pretty good. Um, not much to say. Do you have anything to say about New Nectar? Uh, it's pretty good. Yeah. I haven't played it myself, but I can see how it works. Sure, alright. And then, last spot we have here is Gore Paladin! Uh, so yeah, uh, interesting thing with this deck. So we've seen the Gore Paladins from before, how they were running Kite and Hall. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Paramore here, which kind of helps you dig, you know, you get the draw one. Yeah. Um, it's extra defense when it comes out, or extra power when it comes out. Uh, you also have this grade one that can look at top three, so that can help you dig for your pieces that mm -hmm. you need. And you can do it every turn, but it does require one counter blast and soul blast. Well, you can just use it whenever you want. Basically. Yeah, but yeah, again, in the field. Yeah, it helps make the field, and you still want to get these cards if you miss right. Yep. So I think that's pretty good. It's and a then, dig. Yeah, yeah. And then it's eight crit, eight crit, yep. four draw for it. So, it's pretty, pretty standard. Pretty standard. I like oh, only three free pair. Which three is fine. Three person is fine. Yeah. Like the deck doesn't rely on principles as much as Gurgit. Yeah, that's so. right. He doesn't run Aglavel though as well. So that's uh, also another reason. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, no, you don't actually need 4-4, four, 4-4-4. Four, 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 four. Yeah. Um, although it could be cool to do that, but you can run less amounts of mm -hmm. the, like the Percival and the, the Cavalier. Well, I think the Cavalier is actually quite important. So I, I still want to run something like three just to boost the power yeah. of the Vanguard. Mm -hmm. um, but apart from that, that's Otherwise it. your Vanguard just doesn't hit. Yeah. All right. So that is all the lists. So that was a crazy amount of time. Uh, 50 minutes. We haven't done one of these in ages, right? 50 minutes. Because, you know, we didn't have tournaments. Now, everyone pitching in, everyone having fun. Plan section actually making an impact. The next week is plan section volume oh, two. That's like 
all the good stuff yeah gucci gucci volume two right so yeah uh, let us know what you guys think of the decks this time uh if you have lists just ping me anywhere uh on twitter discord uh put in the wcc chat or something mm -hmm. like that discord join our discord just put it somewhere there yeah and uh we'll keep an eye out for that all right anything you like to say kevin no we'll see you on clan selection two see you guys next week yeah bye